Now presenting Gospel Kaleidoscope with host Sherry Gallagher. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. St. Matthews 5, 16. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm Sheree Gallagher, your host of Gospel Kaleidoscope. And today we're going to go right back to Cincinnati to the Gospel Announcers Guild Convention of the Gospel Music Workshop of America. Uh, I was there a short while ago and I interviewed a, a lot of very talented people who have the one purpose in mind, and that is to let God utilize their talents to glorify himself through their lives. And we're going to return back to that. Um, and also after this conversation with the president of Amir Records, we're going to go forward with the Gospel Kaleidoscope Jam Session. And I want you to stay tuned. Well, praise the Lord. We're back again with something exciting to introduce to you. Uh, Brother Andre Montel. That's it. Oh, In praise the Lord color. in living colors. <laughs> and he's the president of Amir. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, if you will tell us a little bit about what God is doing in your life and through you and what the dream and vision of this corporation is. God is doing many wonderful things with uh, this company. Mm -hmm. uh, as they always say, God is good and, mm -hmm. and has truly been good to me. Yes. Uh, I know from which it came. Okay, now. And I'm thankful. Uh, Amir uh, was uh, started Amir about six years ago. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, at the time, when I was trying to come up with a name for the company, a friend of mine, a business partner in Los Angeles, his wife called me and said, I got a great name for the company. I said, what? She says, Amir. <laughs> and me, dumb, I don't know what Amir stands for, neither did she. But she just took some letters, you know, and put, put them together, my, my uh, two first, my two initials, mm -hmm. with some other letters. And mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I said, okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Then I went to New Orleans to a convention, and there's a young lady at a concierge at a hotel mm -hmm. uh, was, uh, sitting there, and I, her name was Mia. So I says to her, um, I just started a record company, mm -hmm. name similar to yours. She said, what? I said, Amir. Mm -hmm. So she looked at me and started laughing. And I said, what's so funny? She said, you don't even know what that stands for, do you? I said, mm -hmm. no. She said, well, in Arabic, Amir means prince. Oh, praise the And Lord. I said, what do you mean, Prince? You say, that's what Amir means in Prince. Mm -hmm. Last year at Norm Convention, I was uh, a young man, a gentleman from New York walked up to me and asked me for my card, and I gave mm -hmm. it to him. And he started laughing. Mm -hmm. well, now I'm thinking, I'm a joke. <laughs> so, right now. so he says, uh, <laughs> he said, do you know what Amir stands for? And he's from India. Mm -hmm. In India, I said, no. He said, in India, it means wealth. Mm. <laughs> so Ooh. I say, well, I guess I'm a prince and I got well, wealth on the way. The so I say, Lord. praise Hallelujah. the Lord. You know? The Lord said he would that we prosper right? and be in health. Yeah, but we have a com our company. We are uh, really about uh, helping um, people. We we have recorded uh, artists that really never had a chance. Uh, uh, some young artists, some older artists. Uh, mm -hmm. We have one group on the label called the Whitney Singers. Uh, they performed here last Sunday and turn the place out. Oh, I know. And they range in age from 44 mm -hmm. to 64. Mm -hmm. And believe me, these sweet old ladies can get down oh, with right the now. Holy Ghost. Oh, right <laughs> now. Oh, right but, now. Uh, but, uh, we, and, you know, they had been around for, for about 30-some uh, years, and no one ever took a chance. Ooh. And I discovered them at the workshop in Indianapolis. Hmm. God knows you know. what he's doing, don't he? And I tried to get some other labels to record. I said, oh, they're too old. Mm -hmm. you come to gospel, you're never too old. Mm -hmm. You know, know what do you mean? And, oh, there's no, you don't put a, an age limit on gospel. Mm -hmm. Well, God knows. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't put an age limit on, on talent, period. Right. Mm -hmm. you know. That's true. Well, tell me about how that your experience come about, even from the very beginning, as to the way God has brought you uh, God, through it's, salvation you know, it's, and up to this moment. When, when I was a kid, I always thought I wanted to be a minister. Mm -hmm. And I used to practice. You see the minister, I used to like it when they used to be, oh, 
you know, when they were preaching they with that, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. deep set of horses in their voice. Yeah, you know? right. And, but I didn't, I mean, that's what I wanted, but I didn't believe that that was my calling. I, I felt that my calling was to bring the ministry in music, in song. Uh-huh. Uh, I, uh, been in the business since I was 14. Uh-huh. Uh, I took my very first job in the, in the industry. Uh-huh. Walked into a record store and took a job. Uh-huh. And after work the first day, the man told me, I said, when I get paid, he said, well, who hired you? I said, I did. All right now, all right now, <laughs> praise the Lord. But, uh, and I've been, things been going good ever since. Yeah, but I, I, I um, uh, he worked for a company that's no longer in business called Nashboro. I don't know if you remember that label. Mm-hmm. It was one time it was the largest gospel label in the in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, at that label, I uh, produced uh, the William Brothers, uh, the Swanee Quintet, mm-hmm. Willie Neal Johnson in the keynotes, mm-hmm. uh, the late Reverend Marvin Yancey. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was the last pro- uh, project that I did there before I left the company and, and started my own in 1982. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, that's so why I've been at it ever since, and I enjoy what I do, and I enjoy most. The most important thing to, in my in my life is to give back to the community, mm-hmm. especially to young people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do workshops around the country mm-hmm. uh, for nonprofit organizations. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only fee that it costs them is just expensive to fly uh, the people that work with me mm-hmm. and myself in to mm-hmm. uh, with, uh, to teach and educate. Mm-hmm. Uh, people in the industry. Uh, we recently did a, a workshop in Wichita, Kansas. Mm-hmm. And everybody asked me, well, why you go to a little, little country town, like a uh, hick town like Wichita? Mm-hmm. My thing was, if you stop and think, uh, when you listen to artists, your big name artists, mm-hmm. where do they come from? Mm-hmm. When you watch a football, basketball, or baseball game, and you hear all these big names, high salary people, mm-hmm. think about it, where they come from. Very, very few come from New York, Chicago, mm-hmm. or L.A. It's right. always the little small town. Right. Mm-hmm. To my surprise, going to Wichita, which I had never been there before, mm-hmm. uh, first of all, I had no idea that the city was as large as it is. Mm-hmm. You know, who would think that Wichita had 350,000 people in it? Mm-hmm. And out of that 350,000, 22% was black. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did a workshop there, uh, Gio, uh, Bishop Giovanni, who works with uh, closer with Bobby Jones, mm-hmm. uh, another f- a friend of mine from uh, from uh, Houston. Uh, he's a judge and, a, and a, an, an attorney, an uh, uh, entertainment attorney. Mm-hmm. I asked them if they would come in, and they said, Andre would love to come in to, uh, to because it's about educating, mm-hmm. and it's about education and teaching. Mm-hmm. Uh, I asked, what would you charge to do this? They said just expenses mm-hmm. and when I told Mrs. Carter the lady that uh, the uh, director of this nonprofit organization that brought us in called Hope Hope mm-hmm. Inc mm-hmm. but these people they uh, help people with AIDS mm. they uh, find homes for folks mm. they find jobs for people and all of this is at no, no cost mm-hmm. to the individuals mm-hmm. so we were delighted to uh, go in and help with this and we went and did a three day workshop yes uh, Dealing with the uh, uh, Judge Wilson, he dealt with the uh, legal side of the industry mm-hmm. and things that people, these people knew nothing about. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gio, uh, Bishop Giovanni and myself, we dealt with the recording and and uh, uh, he did show them how to put together a choir and yeah. all of this, you know, just teaching. Mm-hmm. Now they want us to come back, so we're going back in uh, March uh, to do another one. And I've spoken with several uh, big name entertainers about coming in to, to uh, do this. Uh, talked to Dottie Peoples, and she said mm-hmm. she would love to do it. Oh, wow. Uh, I talked to, uh, 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 to uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the name, uh, with uh, oh, uh, Walt Baby Love, that have the Gospel Countdown, uh, comes on, it's, it's mm-hmm. a syndicated show, it's on 132 stations. Mm-hmm. He wants to come in and talk to them about... Uh, about the the, uh, the charting of, of music, mm-hmm. uh, I talked to another young lady that has a magazine, uh, gospel uh, to, uh, a gospel uh, magazine out of Atlanta, mm-hmm. R- uh, Rolinda uh, Bro- Cooley. Mm-hmm. She wants to come in and talk to them about marketing and, and, and uh, publicity. Mm-hmm. Uh, I talked to William Beckham today. Mm-hmm. He wants to come in. He said, Andre, I would love to come in and talk to these kids. I want to give something back. 
Mm -hmm. He said, I would love to come in and minister to them in, uh, in, in what I do. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of people that wants to come in and oh, uh, be part so of this, wonderful. Uh, of giving back to the community. That is wonderful. I'm so yeah. glad, you know, God is doing such a good work. Uh, this, this work here is, is pretty much kind of similar, and God's got people everywhere. And it's nice to know that because no one person can do right. everything. But, you know, this is sort of what we're doing. We're, we're reaching out to the gospel community mm -hmm. and asking us to, to join hand in hand and work together. And, you know, and Key Reaching Foundation sponsors this program, okay, for the purpose of giving the best kind of promotion that we can possibly set up to promote gospel and promote God's talented people. Okay. Okay, and we're talking um, the, the Gospel Kaleidoscope newspaper, we're talking mm -hmm. the, the syndicated radio programs, we're talking about television, we're talking okay. about going on, and we, in fact, we've got a community service motion picture that we're structuring, putting together because we need to get busy doing what God would have us to do and that is reaching out for the souls that are lost it's not enough to sit here and turn on the TV and see the news and talk about oh what terrible things are happening mm -hmm. and what Something the children are doing right. and the talk shows is a wonderful thing to have and you know I, mm -hmm. I, I enjoy talking like the next person I enjoy hearing other people talk and we got some very talented people that are hosting talk shows but it, we need to be actually doing something right. that is going to be constructively putting in place a system that's going to be able to help save souls. Right. You know, a lot of people think that you know that you, you have to be a minister mm -hmm. to save souls. Mm -hmm. But gotta say, everybody can't preach. No, no uh, can't. everybody can't sing gospel. Right. You know, uh, not downing uh, what other mm -hmm. artists do, you know, like some mm -hmm. of the, the, the blues or the mm -hmm. R&B artists. Mm -hmm. Everybody cannot be a blues singer. Everybody right. cannot be a gospel, I mean, right. a, 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 a jazz singer. Right. But you have a given talent that God gave you. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and, and uh, you know, like I was telling somebody the other day, who am I to judge? Right. Who am I to say, because B.B. King is a blues singer, mm -hmm. that he's not a better Christian than I? All right, now. You see what you I'm know, saying? Right. Uh, who am I to say that because uh, 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 James Brown does what he does? Mm -hmm. as long as he, my thing is, as long as you do the best that you can do mm -hmm. at what you do, mm -hmm. it's a talent that God gave, gave you. you. Right. And who am I to say that he's not a better Christian than I? No, it's for us to try to. You know, that's between he. That's between he that's and God. I mean, God. That's you know, what I'm not. To, I'm not here to judge. All right. You know, that's and, right. Uh, I just want to, you know, like to, like to see that our young people mm -hmm. uh, get involved. Like at my church uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had, uh, uh, in my church in, in, uh, in uh, Miami, a mm -hmm. New Way Fellowship, we had a uh, uh, youth uh, revival. Mm -hmm. And it ran for four nights. Mm -hmm. uh, five nights, I'm sorry. Each night there was over a thousand kids mm -hmm. in, from the city of Miami at this church. Mm -hmm. And each night, nothing under 70 mm -hmm gave their life to God. Oh, praise the Lord. Uh, we, the only thing that was kind of disturbed me, it wasn't really disturbing, uh, the, the kids, the choir, they wanted to do stump. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know if the bishop was going to let them do it. Oh, okay. But he gave in because t his two grandchildren was in the choir. Oh, <laughs> so, praise the Lord. Praise <laughs> so, the Lord. But they didn't do the dance. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, was, it was a very positive thing. Mm -hmm. And um, it's something that I, I'm, I've been working on. I want to do in Miami is to do uh, a, a Christian, a Miami Christian youth uh, uh, conference, mm -hmm. and with all the churches in the city of Miami involved. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm reaching out for help. Mm -hmm. I, I, as I've, I've done a lot of things. I've never gone to that extent before. Yes, but it's something yes. that. It's something that, that uh, an idea that, 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 that God put in my mind and it won't leave. All right. Now. So I feel it's, I'm going to have to do it. When God puts something you on know, your mind, it's like that, you've got to do it. So all uh, I know uh, I'm we're trying to get the city of Miami to sponsor it mm -hmm. uh, and some of the uh, major corporations to underwrite it. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we want to do is like have seminars and let it run for a week and have seminars each day. Have some uh, main uh, major artists come in to mm -hmm. uh, speak to the kids, mm -hmm. and uh, to me, this would be a good way to find out how serious mm -hmm. these 
artists are about their ministry. Amen. How serious are they about giving something back? Because it's these same kids that help mm -hmm. make them. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, you have the dollars. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to give some of these dollars back just for a plane ticket and a hotel to come come to, whether it's Miami, Chicago, right. L.A., exactly. uh, mm -hmm. Gulfport, Mississippi, wherever, right. to give something back to, to show these kids they look up to you, they thought enough right. of you to buy your CD. Right. Now, do you think enough of them to go give some of your time? Yes, because it's great they need it. Very much. And it's just, it's not enough to once um, <clears throat> somebody break in your house or when somebody try to kidnap you your car or something happens to your relative right. to to get upset about right. the way things are. If we don't get to work with the what saving souls by putting the love of God to work in the abilities He's given us. And if it's no more than God giving you the ability to just wash windows where folks can look at them and see where they're going, hey. see what's going on, even though, you know. If, if, if that's what it is, do, do, do your best. it and do it with the love of God, with right. that positive attitude and that positive perspective. And and let God work and and and, and get yourself out the picture. I like. Well, I'm I'm just glad I met you because see, this is this is. We're, we're, we're rocking here. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're also, you know, God you know, is, God I, is, well, you know, uh, three years ago, God gave me a vision of something, mm -hmm. and it's 99% a reality. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm almost positive. I go call my partner in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell me the sign of the word is go. Mm -hmm. uh, we're starting a distributorship mm -hmm. that's badly needed. Oh, yeah. There's so many labels, record labels, mm -hmm. gospel and other music, right. that they're small companies, they're having problems getting distribution. Right. So we're going to fill that that gap. All right. Uh, a lot of people ask me, say, well, we're going to say, where are you going to base it? Because we're going to base it out of uh, the state of Nevada in, in Las Vegas mm -hmm. for the simple reason, because first of all, it's, uh, it, it's no tax. Mm -hmm. Uh, the cost of living is cheap, mm -hmm. uh, real estate is cheap, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of major artists that live in Nevada mm -hmm. that have masters, have little record companies, cannot get distribution. So mm -hmm. we're going to take the distribution to them. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And this, uh, this is something we've been working on for three years. Mm -hmm. uh, we just, we, we're waiting for the funds. Mm -hmm. We have the funds. Mm -hmm. Today was waiting on a letter with a signature. Mm -hmm. As I spoke to my partners earlier this morning, mm -hmm. that letter was on the way to Los Angeles. Oh, and Lord. so that's a, a, a dream God. that came true. God is good, is God merciful. Is and we, uh, uh, you know, it's not that we, we look trying to do something to, mm -hmm. any business you're going to, you want to make money. Yeah. But we're doing something because there is a need. Right. And uh, hopefully in the process everybody can get paid amen uh, but the important thing is to make put some make something available mm -hmm. that's badly needed because uh, these little camp guys they cannot go to the major labels to get distribution mm -hmm, that's true. you know that's true. I might with my company it was with the major dis uh, distributor mm -hmm. and when they got uh, they ran out of funds mm -hmm. they dropped everybody all the gospel labels that they had mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. all of them Mm -hmm. And this was just recently, just f they filed bankruptcy. Yes. But I was wise enough to make a move to get distribution from somebody else, mm -hmm. which was no problem for me because everybody knew me. Yeah. But what about those guys that people don't know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's where the problem is. Oh, that's a big heart, you know, yeah. heart full of God's love. Y'all hear it coming straight if, from his mouth, don't you? You'd be surprised Amen. if people walking around at this convention with with labels and can I get that product distributed? Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, I I, I do want to, to be able to talk to you further about um, what we can do together through this program because this program is, is God's program. It's not my program. It is God's program. And I'm just somebody that God has told to get up here and do this. Now, I don't know why God told me to do it, but I am going to do what God gave me to do because I wouldn't begin to cross mm -hmm. the man upstairs. I don't understand. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but I do want to um, beseech you in the behalf of, well, my hometown because we got a lot of struggling uh, gospel um, uh, persons there that <clears throat> have got 
recording studios in the basement and it just kind of got real discouraged because uh, so many of them had filed for labels and got labels mm -hmm. and some of them got publishing you know um, rights and stuff like that and just struggling in every direction trying to get something off the ground you know and and the general the general attitude is you know they're just waiting on the day that somebody from east coast west coast or somewhere mm -hmm. will Look down on St. Louis and say, "Hey, let's go to Are you out of St. Louis." Some, yes, I'm out of I, St. I Louis. I have a, a mm -hmm. artist out of St. Louis. We're getting ready to release our, our oh. rest of Loretta Earl. Well, we most certainly will. You know Loretta Earl? Gospel. No, I don't know her, but I most certainly would like to get to know yeah, her. Yeah, Loretta and her husband. They have this uh, church, uh, Bonded Life. Oh, it's a new church yes, just recently yes. opened. Yes, yes, I've heard of it. Yeah, she's. Uh, uh, we're getting ready to release her CD on her. As a matter of fact, the single mm -hmm. was supposed to have been released uh, last week, mm -hmm. but it got caught. Uh, uh, it's somewhere between Nashville mm -hmm. and uh, Miami on mm. a UPS truck. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> so. my God. Well, we just going to believe God. God let the... Oh, it's going to... Oh, I'm not worried. Yes, it's going to okay. work it all out. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> as I said, you know, I hope you will keep in touch and I will okay. keep in touch with you because I am looking forward to being able to promote the gospel and the gospel that God has given you to promote this radio program here the television program, the newspaper mm -hmm. the things that God is doing we're looking forward to you participating and helping us Thank to you. fill out those pages and fill out okay. the time with people that is <laughs> ran go bringing the gospel to someone now tell me something else too before mm -hmm. we let you go and because yeah, I know you're a busy man. I yeah, know you yeah, I'm supposed to be out there working. Oh, the God. Well, <laughs> let me hurry okay, up. No problem. Would you say something for me? What? To those young people directly that's out there that are feeling hopeless and lost, that's on the street, looking in any direction they can, but to God for whatever help they can receive. I would say, put God first, whatever you do. Those of you students that's in school, when it's time to sit and do your homework yes, before sir. you open that book. Say a prayer. Amen. Put God in it. Mm -hmm. Everything will be all right. All right. Listen to your parents. Listen to your teacher. When you're at school, that teacher is your parent. Amen. And when you're home, listen to your parents. If your parents leave you, the younger children, if they leave you with an older sister or brother, for that moment, that older sister or brother is the parent. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, listen to them. Uh, beware of strangers. Yes. Say no to drugs. Yes. Say no to violence. Yes. And don't be afraid to dial 911. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, know, you Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of young people, you know, I signed another group from, from St. Louis, mm -hmm. the Jesus Gang. Oh, yes. Because yeah. I've been playing some of their music on the, on no, the no, not that, No, not that the Jesus Gang. There's two Jesus Gangs. Are there are two Jesus Gangs? Yeah, there's one on Ty Scott. Uh-huh, yep, yeah, right. And there's one uh, in St. Louis. Oh, yeah. The one in St. Louis I signed. Oh, okay. Well, let me put a little note down here because yeah. I most certainly do want to look them up. Okay. Because we want to get all God's people hooked up, as young folks say. <laughs> <laughs> as they say, you, yeah. it was jamming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm so glad yeah. that you did stop by. Yeah, hey, my pleasure. Thank you for time. And my my I'm pleasure. I'm looking forward to God bringing us together okay. and networking and to being able to work with this program to do the work that God has given me and you to do. Okay. And I am very, very concerned about what God has given you to do because the Key Region Foundation is in, in my head the way what God has put in your head. Yet, mm -hmm. I got to do something besides sitting in front of the TV looking at it happen. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to do that well, because I, God has told me to get up and do, do something. I do something every day. Mm -hmm. I remember my father said to me a long time ago, mm -hmm. he who cannot smile at least once a day might as well be dead. Right. He who cannot help at least one person a week. Mm hmm What's your purpose? Right. What is the purpose? What is your purpose if you mm -hmm. can't help somebody mm -hmm. and smile when you do it? Mm-hmm. So. Well, thank God that you came in here and smiled, and you <laughs> definitely helped me out. I'm in the water paddling. I'm paddling. This is this is new territory for me here. Okay. You know, God and this told is me step on out. Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> but you know, God has told me to do it, so we done did it, and praise God okay. and thank God thank for you. you. We, 
Pray God's blessings on you continually. Okay. All right. And we'll be Thank able you. to talk to you again. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for tuning in today on Gospel Kaleidoscope with Sherry Gallagher. You may write Gospel Kaleidoscope at Post Office Box 411183-147 or you may call for information at 1-800-962-7005. We invite you to listen in again on Gospel Kaleidoscope.